So we're trying to understand how learning and in particular fear learning really works at the level of neuronal circuits and what we find is that there's a lot of specificity in these circuits that there are specific cell types that have very specific jobs in either um, gating learning and plasticity or ensuring the specificity that the right information then is retrieved and produces the right kind of behavior. So, so far the last uh, 20 years have, 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 have shown us that there is particular brain regions that are important to learn a particular task and now we're starting really to understand the cell types and the connections and eventually we will be able to put back the mechanisms into these circuits to really understand mechanistically how learning works. There is both sides to it. There is, it's, it's a very uh, powerful model to study learning, basic learning mechanisms in, in, in the brain, in, in animals, using animal models. But of course, on the other hand, it bears uh, immediate relevance also for, for human disease and anxiety disorders because these disorders often are uh, based on um, maladaptive plasticity and, and pathological learning. If you want. So it has both sides to it. Yes.